What's the name of the show? Are we going with Bill's Roundtable? <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome to Deal's Round Table. I'm Dilruk Jai Singer. I am a comedian by trade, but comedy is also my passion and obsession. This week, or this episode, we are going to talk about social media and specifically online hate. And my panel of experts are Josh Earl, Carl Chandler, and Ed Cavalli. Hi. Gentlemen, thank Yay. you so much for joining us. Dil Dil's round table. Do we need the table? <laughs> yes. Well, it's a good start. Speaking of fuck it's online, uh, we have Carl Chandler. That's how we should have started. Uh, very quickly, what, are, what do you have on social media? I'm on uh, Twitter and Instagram and Facebook, but Facebook's Facebook, not really. Fan page? Slash? Uh, fa fa yeah, but more, more Twitter and Instagram. Yeah. yeah. Carl? Yeah, same. Yeah, same, yeah. but you also run a couple of other accounts as well, don't you? You have your podcast account. Yeah, got a little dum uh, dum. So er er everything to do with uh, the podcast and comedy rooms I run. So I've got about seven or eight accounts. So if someone blocks me, I can always get on the other account. And <laughs> yeah, we'll get, we'll get to that. We'll get to some yeah. of that. And Ed Cavalli, what are you? Uh, uh, only Twitter, really, mm. and no, don't, not on, not Instagram and Facebook. But I, th I think like you, I. I you know, I've stopped stalking my ex girlfriends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like You're they're, married. They're married. married. Yeah. They're married now, and they've got three kids, and it's like it's not as hot as it used to be. <laughs> so that yeah. leads me well into my uh, into the topic about this online hate. So your podcast, Little Dum Dum Club, uh, you have a lot of your friends on, uh, and because it's mates chatting with each other, you give a lot of shit to each other. Yeah, yep. Your fan base has mm. been now trained to think that <laughs> that's the shtick. Fans ah. a strong word. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So now people express their love to people. People act like me and treat me like you. Right. So they're just going me all the time. Yeah. So e every bit of online stuff and whatever, people just people will literally go. Oh, I hope you die. I hope you kill yourself. And it's like block, and then they hit me up in another medium and go, why'd you block me? Like, <laughs> the, the kill yourself bit? Yeah, like, that's your line. But we're mates. It's, it's <laughs> your catchphrase. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's right. like, you know, Garfield, I hate Mondays. It's well, like, yeah. it's, so it's hard for you to discern. So now you've, got a, you've brought yourself into a bit of a feedback loop where yes. it's hard for you to work out what the genuine hate is yes. versus what they think is banter. Yeah, mm. literally, like if someone drives past me <sighs> on the street and goes, go fuck yourself, I'm like, thanks for listening. Yeah, right. <laughs> <okay. laughs> <laughs> on the show as well, you give it out a lot more than Tommy does, who's your other co-host. Mm. We've had him on this uh, yeah. series. But yep. I also think that Tommy cops it a fair bit online, which is a bit unwarranted, because at least with you, it's like, kill yourself, <laughs> that kind of stuff. With Tommy, they get really personal. They're like, you, yeah. look, you look fucked. Right, and right, right, right. He doesn't deserve that when he wakes we up in the morning just checking his phone. Oh, great, okay. He's a, he's a bit, yeah, look, if you, the rule is if you... Give it out. Yeah. You have to be able to take yep. it. Uh, yeah. So I give it out a bit more. So I, I'm like, I, I can't argue against anything. And I, I think with your fans as well, what it is is that like, because on the show, everyone's having fun. Everyone's in on the joke. And people listen to it because podcasts are such a kind of a personal that's media. Right. You listen yeah. to it on your headphones. You're yeah. like, oh, I'm in, a relationship I'm in on this. And that's yeah. why, you, yeah, it's a bit like the Jackass team. Like right. people like yeah. seeing them because they're just mates who are do doing dumb stuff to each yeah. other. And, yeah, and th that relationship is... Uh, uh, if you're very matey, you know, I believe that this is the same with Breakfast Radio, mm. which you would know that I if you're familiar with someone that much, mm. then when you're communicating with them, it's sort of like, oh, we're mates. You know how we're mm. mates. Mm. And you're halfway through a sentence going, you know this thing. It's like, I've never met you before in my yeah. life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and it's, all, it's proximity. Like, Breakfast Radio is a good example because the other thing is with, with radio, because it works in segments, is that and in very tight sort of chunks or whatever it is, unless you're on Triple J, you just bang on about the hungry kids of Hungry for 14 minutes. <laughs> 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 throw, to an ad to the, throw to an ad for the Sea Shepherd. So um, <laughs> all right, Triple <laughs> M. <laughs> but um, we all have our foibles. Um, who, do they do, who do they do got your calls to? Uh, we, okay. don't, we don't. Uh, Triple J, yeah. Who yeah. do they do to? The Liberal Party. You suck. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't get our funding. Um, so they, but that's, you got you to have shorthand. It's, you yeah. can't, no, no being precious, no this, know that hey we this thing could happen in the next mi second you could have 20 seconds barnsley's about to finish yeah, yeah. Right. He's, he's going to finish barnsley at some point and the next thing has to happen and so you can't you can't have any airs and graces this is going to happen this is going to happen right now yep. and yep. i like that i like direct communication like that i think in any creative venture or, or whatever not mean or whatever, but mm. that direct let's get to it yep. yeah yeah let's not spin our wheels and worry about oh do you think it just doesn't work. Right. It doesn't right. work. Do you get? Uh, do you have like a text hotline or whatever that you're reading with people? I don't read it, but, but it exists. Yeah, of course it does. But the uh, well, this is interesting with this online sort of hate stuff. I can't. Why would I read it? 
Yeah. Mm. I, I honestly don't know what people would say about me or, or yeah. whatever online, because what do I care? Well, well there's yeah. that right. many fake accounts on Twitter of me, of Little Dum Dum Club, right. of everything. That, do they just there's make Dum Dum 80s, there's Dum Dum 90s, there's, there's Dum Dum yeah. 15 to 20 of them. There's I was looking at them this morning. Whoa. Yeah, right. there's, there's Dum Dum Jurassic Park, there's Dum Dum <laughs> Queensland, there's Dum <laughs> Dum. I like reversal. Yeah. What's yeah. what's uh, Dum Dum Queensland? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. It's really what's weird. That? It's like it just it, you know whatever Stephane we do that week. Oh, Stefan, because I did a live your live show in Queensland. Yeah, whatever they do, whatever we do this week on the show, they'll somehow shoehorn into a Nambour reference. Right. Yeah. Big shout out to everyone at Nambour. So for me, like. That was initially the kind of experience I had, and most of the time it was people who were. My first bit of random uh, hate was when I did the show that you're on. Have you been paying uh -huh. attention? I had no idea how popular Sam Pang was, and yes. so the first episode I well, did he's, is he's I a diversity <coughs> choice, right? <laughs> <laughs> so when he couldn't do it, guess who they brought? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and 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 so what I didn't even know was before I even before I even recorded the uh -huh. app when they just said next week. Uh, I was on. I got this hate from people just saying, "Who the fuck's this guy? We don't want him." No, bring yeah. back Sam. I'm not watching. And it's like, maybe you're right. Maybe I am shit. Ugh. I don't you know yet. Yeah. So I got sucked into uh, the. Have you been paying attention? Uh, um, Facebook and Twitter, because a lot of people being oh, nice, and you could have like. Ten people who are nice, but there'll be one yeah. person that just says he's not funny, and I was like. Why? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm trying. I, I got a, I got a good one. Like with, uh, I, I did Dirty Laundry live right. when it was on, and uh, you know you get a bit of this and that and whatever on the social media, and then Twitter. This one woman went me, but she didn't go me like, "Who's this dickhead? Fuck you!" Whatever it was, it was like a very succinct uh, breakdown of why I wasn't any good, and oh. I read it all and went, "Yep, yeah, yeah." Wow. <laughs> yeah. Do you okay. respond to that? <laughs> yeah, I think I did, and then like then she went back at me even harder, and again very accurately, and I was like, I oh, know you've won this one. Do I'm you reckon it's like a Fight Club you. thing, and there's a female version of you that you just tap into, <laughs> uh, <laughs> and you don't right, even she realize was a, she was just very good at her job. She was in, like an so excellent as troll. To you. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> excellent <laughs> troll. But I'm just like <laughs> mine are just roundhouses. She was like a surgeon. Oh, she was right. just she like knows where to cut. right at the right, right. point. But, but it's only. What is it, Jerry Seinfeld's line? Comedy is justice or whatever because it's you say a joke and then the truth hits you back. Yeah. You either get laughs or you don't. So why is it that... That's why I don't look at it or whatever because I'm like, well, if I do something and people laugh or if I do a show and it works or if something like that, well, then I found out. Why yeah. do I need to then go and sift through the weeds? Yeah, but well, I think I what it know. is, I know the answer. When you come from a stand-up thing, everyone, which, which I don't, which everyone, is absolutely right. But I everyone there not from that. is, they like you and they're laughing and it's fine. And you can, and one person not laughing is fine because everyone else is laughing. Right. And sometimes mm. you do. But when you're in TV, you're actually in their house. Yeah. You're, you're, right, they they yeah. haven't gone out of the house to go see. They haven't paid any money to, and, and, and want their kind of money to be a good like investment going oh yeah i don't want to pretend right. i've wasted 20 bucks and that's, like that's why we don't get as much as that with podcasts because yeah. podcasts you're choosing to download it whereas radio and tv is a thing that you're walking past and accidentally yeah. see and you can go Who, what the fuck is this because you haven't made that decision you're, yeah. they're almost intruding on your time or whatever mm -hmm. and back to you replacing yes Sam well this one yeah yes. well i haven't replaced adam hills once fix and specs you were the, the oh, was that, you? that was me yeah <laughs> <laughs> I don't bring it up enough, do I? No. His hair's changed since. <laughs> <laughs> but Is this a witness relocation yeah. thing? <laughs> <laughs> but it was a real thing of like going, just this hate, just a lot of that. And it became a sport for the Facebook page of the TV show, of just like people just getting on there and becoming friends with each other because they hated... Right, and oh, I'm an enemy. Yet, hadn't even aired yet, though. Yes, well, and, this is and what I... I knew not to what not to look at it anymore... On Christmas Day, they posted up the first actual video of us going, hey, Merry Christmas, everyone, we'll see you. And straight away, 7 o'clock in the morning, who are these assholes? I don't like them. Bring back the animals. Like, oh, it's Christmas Day, and they're <laughs> on there hating it. Jesus. Can't, right. can't do anything about that. Man. They're just sad people. Someone just, just didn't get what they wanted under the yeah. tree. Yeah. Yeah. Someone's <laughs> going to pay for this. <laughs> people were like, thought that because you were doing it, uh, Miff, Adam and Alan didn't want to, uh, couldn't do it anymore. Yeah. Rather than realising they didn't want to do it anymore. Yeah. Everyone else behind the scenes was almost the same stuff. Yes. You know what I mean? Like We had, we had some new writers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, interestingly, uh, Carl, it, we wasn't, it, it wasn't now my fault. Right. It, it was not my fault. I'm uh, very happy for him to take the front of this. <laughs> but having said that, uh, you, you do have a, a very sort of brash personality, but people don't know this about you. You're quite a loyal friend. I, I, at least I, you know. Yes. Yeah, because when you were getting hit I, up on Twitter... Carl. On New Year's Eve, right. I did a New Year's Eve thing, and right. someone had a go at me on New Year's Eve, and Carl just went, have a look at this, and just yeah. went him. And I kind of joined in, but I was like, I can't join in, because... Yeah. 
Correct. Well, correct. Yeah. And that's what Carl, Carl you sort of, you, you, and I've, I've noticed that with uh, sometimes with me as well. Like, it, you're, you're allowed to bully me, but not anyone else. Yeah. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? It's like, yeah, 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 this yeah. is the family. You, we, you don't, you don't, you don't jump in. But what was but I don't mind doing that because I, like, well, I'm, I'm set up for that. Like, right. that's my job. I'm sure. like, oh, okay, you yeah. guys don't like that. I'm like, that's my morning's work. I'm right. like, okay, I'll, be, I'll, I'll get my drink and I'll, I'll troll some trolls. Right. How's this said? So I thought, right. what, a, what a good friend, what a loyal right. friend who has your back when you're in your time right. of need. One day I get a, I, uh, get a message from Carl. I'm like, hey, what's, uh, how are you? He's like, yeah, I'm really tired. I'm like, yeah, what did you do, Carl? He's like, oh, I was... I was up to like three o'clock yesterday replying to all these Twitter people hating on Mac Horton, <laughs> all these people <laughs> in China. So he started attacking China. <laughs> you, 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 I don't even remember that. <laughs> yeah. Do you know Mac Horton personally? No, no. No, you <laughs> were just going people was attacking. That? Yes. I don't remember. That's because you were half asleep yeah, as yeah, you're yeah, doing yeah. it. Wow. So I was like, it has nothing to do with our friendship. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just I, like I, was up, I was up so late I was learning Chinese to really <laughs> yeah, get right. them yeah, 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 yeah. On, their, on their home base. This will get them. Right, Ed, you're my favorite guest so far already, Good. purely because Thanks. of pressure. Thanks. No mm. offense, no offense, but look. I live in constant fear of, uh, and radio does this to you, and I'm sure Stan, in another way, you, you, I live in constant fear of not having something. Yeah. When Barnsley finishes, if I haven't got something, then mm. I'm in strife. So Barnsley's well, causing a lot of stress. No, it's just it's the easiest when you talk. When you say Triple M, it's the easiest. It's the easiest one for people to sort of get their you head had around. Shannon this, Nolan? Is, this is John. I, I haven't had Shannon Nolan because he's always out. <laughs> <laughs> I think we could ask a couple of Adelaide strippers if they take <laughs> Shannon Noll in. <laughs> Ready? What do you have for us? I have a quiz. I have a quiz for. Oh. I have a quiz. This is about online follower numbers Ooh. because I find this interesting. Because if you think about the amount of accounts that are set up in and around your podcast and the fans and that yep. type of thing, and then Josh, you think about okay, so the do followers equate to success in life? Because yes. we know now that there are jobs and various things in the world, even types in the musical charts. Mm. It's not just sales these days that make a difference, it's following, it's likes, yeah, it's yeah. shares and those sorts of things. Uh, so I'm gonna play who's got more followers. First things first, Caitlyn Jenner mm. versus Justin Bieber. Oh, easy, mm. I know the answer to this one, I yeah. think. It'd be Bieber. I'd go Bieber. That's to be Bieber. He wins, but how many do you think Caitlyn I've Jenner's got at the moment? This is Twitter I'm talking about. Yeah, Twitter. I reckon she would have a fair bit, mm. but nowhere near I Justin's I reckon she'd be on a mil. Three, oh, four, 3. Oh, right. 3.9. Right. Okay. Yeah. Him, Bieber. 50 million? Oh, uh, 78 mil. Oh, okay. I re I'll go lower. I reckon I'll go 40 mil. 92. 92. Oh. What? Apparently, there's a whole segment of Twitter headquarters which is just dedicated to people looking after the uh, Bieber. D the account. Justin Bieber again. Wow. Like there so is much, a, so um, hit. There's a very funny. Well, what do you do? Well, like, what, what are you doing with that? Oh, it's just making sure all the hardware is working. Yeah, yeah. Well, it doesn't matter. It's all plugged in, yeah. Yes. Because oh. it's just the constant people just writing to him. I know. I, I would like so to see that man. job ad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come and look at it. Oh, up. you mentioned the business card. <laughs> I work for Twitter <laughs> in the Bieber department. Yeah. Bieber. I'm the Bieber floor. Here we go. Nelly Furtado oh. versus Soldier Boy. Ooh. Oh, I know. Furtado. Now, this is a tough one. This I want to go Furtado purely because oh. of... Uh, oh, no, you know what? I'm changing because Soldier Boy came in around the Twitter area, whereas Furtado was more of a I remember late... I remember looking at a lot of top 10s to top 20s. I remember Soldier Boy being the one person I'd, I'd never heard of. Yeah. yeah. Right. And I remember seeing him all the time, so I will say him. Yeah, I'll say him too. The winner is Soldier Boy, yeah. 5.1 million versus 3.5 million for Nelly Furtado. Well, Nelly. Close, 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 close. But that what's Nelly been tweeting about lately? Does that seem high? <laughs> yeah. Does that seem high for <laughs> Nelly Furtado? Like a bird still. Yeah. 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 Still like a bird over yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> last one, last one here. How many Twitter followers do you think the Proclaimers have? Ooh. The I Would Walk 500 Miles and then some more. I won't yeah. ruin the end of the song. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, yeah. They, yeah. spoilers. Those yeah. Scotsmen. I reckon less than 100,000. So give us a number, Dill. Uh, 60,000. I would say even less than, I reckon 30,000. I'll go 500,000. 26.8 oh. thousand. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. don't they count as like a... A group account? Like a comeback sort of like, I find yeah. it odd that I don't see them on bills. When, like when it's like 90s and 80s nostalgia yeah. Yeah. group tours, like they're doing with R&B all the yeah. time. Yeah. You don't really see them. I think though they kept a bit of a career going in Scotland. I think they were Doing still what? just Walking their songs. Movie drivers. Just, yeah. just oh, their right. songs. They had like yeah, the, <laughs> them and, and uh, Deacon Blue. I think were the two kind of what Scottish did Deacon bands. Deacon Blue have what was it? I, I, the Scottish people watching this will know. They'll write in. <laughs> They'll be furious. <laughs> Deacon Blue is the best. The Scottish yeah. demographic. Deacon Blue is like Scotland's Scot John Farnham. Scotland would pick oh. up Channel Thirty One. I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
going back to you with not being on act that active on social media, ah. your wife is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you feel like you're... Oh, man, I'm stuck. Yeah, I'm dragging. Yeah. How I've been dragging into it. Oh, I'm reluctant. I'm, I've, I take a lot of photos from my beautiful wife, um, and I, I was vaguely reluctant just because I'm like, ah, what do I... Uh, yeah, she's like, we have a photo, and then she'd be like, oh, I might post it. I'm like, well... But I'm sort of biting her ear, and I'm like, "That's for you. Like, yeah, that's yeah. a cute thing we're doing." But she, like, it's different. She, her people who follow her, they feel very personal. Right. With they because all day, every day, they reach out. Can you give me a tip on that? Give me a tip on this. She responds. She tries to help, etc. So they feel a real sort of personal connection. Yeah. And yeah. They, they, a lot of the, that's where I get a lot of just people making jokes about, you know, the best one ever. So the the old punching above your weight thing. I, I yep. accept that. That's yeah. right. Yep. And the best one of that ever was we were walking along the street uh, and. Just walking along, her and I, and she was just finished to work out. She looked un, un, you know, like she does, and I was wandering along, just looking stupid. And we walk along, and a guy in a white van pulls up. He walls up, and not screeches, but he stops. Get in the van. He looks, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. And I said, Mr. Malak, we've been through this. <laughs> and I, he, they, he looked at her, up and down. He looked at me, looked at her again, and went, you are fucking kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> And kept typing. Just, yeah, just yeah. confused by yeah, it. Like, just, just like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, it all got him at once. That's great. And I was like, yeah, it's fair enough. Do you, do you do a thing where, um, now I've heard of it, there's a, a, a mutual friend of ours that uh, lives in LA and he goes oh. out with an octagon girl. Oh. Uh, octagon, what do you, what do you call? <laughs> oh, fighter. sorry, UFC. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. UFC, yeah, yeah. Uh, a, like a, well, the people who hold the signs. What, what are you, round girl? Yeah, round what did girl? you think I meant uh, when I said I, 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 I was just yeah. laughing because you went an octagon girl. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, no, I was like, <laughs> I, wasn't, I didn't mean I that. Didn't, I'm picturing an octagon-shaped woman. <laughs> 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 She's an octagon girl. Round, round girl, round girl. Yeah, okay. okay. Yeah. That's, yeah. The, that's the terminology. So he, he's a comic and he goes out with a, a, a round girl. Right. And he's had to make sure he doesn't appear in any of her photos. There's no mention of it because all it is is all these UFC meatheads going, I will fucking kill that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're so scared. Yeah, as if... Tell they were next is. in line, if not for him. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you had, uh, like, for example, recently in the last month or so, there was big news that, yeah, yeah. that, that Tiff yeah. was pregnant. Yeah. She put it out. Congratulations. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. How Thanks, did you feel when someone, like, are you someone that, say, would have necessarily uh, put well, that out? Well, so what was going on was that she, because of her fitness program, TiffXO.com, she yeah, has right. people, and she was going to have to, uh, she looks different. She just was showing really early, right, and right. it was quite obvious. Me in, too, I get in, it. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. in the videos. It's twins. So that, was, that sort of forced our hands slightly early, but at the end of the day, I was like, I work in breakfast radio. Yeah. Your life is on. If yeah. you can't deal with your life being on the radio, you're in the wrong job. Yeah. And if your wife can't deal with the fact that your life is on the radio, then you are in the wrong job. Dave Hughes and Langbrook and Tony taught me that very early on, and they're absolutely right. Yeah. And as soon as you get over that thing, it's actually great because yeah. it allows you to bring in what you're doing and you get help from people. Listeners, it is a very personal, it is a personal relationship, the breakfast radio thing, because they're with you every morning. Yeah. And you get help. And it's, yeah. it's, it's help. different with you, though, because both of you are in the public eye. Right. right. And so my wife is... If you go to Josh Earl in Google, the first f suggestion... Comes up Josh Earl Y. Yeah. Oh, no, Josh Earl Height, then Josh Earl Height. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, but... What is the height? 5'7", uh, on, okay. on a good day. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> but, because my wife's pregnant... If depending on where they have pregnant, is, yeah. My wife was pregnant when I got to go to the Logies. Oh, And right. ABC were very much like, we can get you to go if you want. I'm like, no, she doesn't want to go. I don't, I don't want yeah. her to go. Like, that's like, I'm yeah. like, do you want? Would to, you take? Do you want her to be the driver? Is that why? Like, yeah. No. no, we didn't. I just went with the thing, and it was a thing of like, they kind of, they didn't push me, but they kind of suggested, if you want, we can do a lot of publicity. The fact that your wife's pregnant, yeah. uh, TV week, and all this kind right. of stuff. And I was like, no. Nah, well, this is what's to. interesting to me because uh, I, I can't remember who I heard it say. Maybe Will Anderson, someone that said, we all subscribe to this system, but our partners, our families haven't, and we're kind of in this job where it's more interesting the more you talk about personal stuff yep. and you're almost like dragging them into it. Like you keep your private life very private uh, off the podcast, I would say. Relationship wise. Yeah. Relationship. Mm. Well, even yeah. on podcast, you're quite, you don't yeah. reveal too much, I guess. You, you talk a lot about, there was a running theme about you not being engaged. Or you've been you'd been seeing your girlfriend for nine, ten years, mm. and hadn't proposed to her yet. Mm -hmm. But that's happened since. Congratulations Thank as well. You. Thank I started and started to feel really <laughs> sad. His wife's pregnant. You've had two kids. He's engaged. And I'm like, we're just gonna live through you vicariously. Yeah. Uh, really? I'm not sure. <laughs> really? Do we have to? <laughs> what meals did you have tonight, Dil? Time to go to bed. Yeah. Uh, but yes, yeah, so you, you, you're sort of pro that idea of keeping personal life personal. Oh, a little bit. I mean, I, I just, yeah, look, what we're talking about there, partners, I, tr I don't even, I try not to say my girlfriend's name on there because yeah. I know that 
our listeners uh, are that psycho. psycho. They, they'll all right. they'll right. be hitting her up. They'll be making uh, fake accounts of her. They'll be yeah. you know all that sort I of see stuff. What you mean. Horses for yeah. courses with that stuff. Yeah. You know, there's a, I was listening to Dave Hughes on the radio the other day, and he was his wife Holly. You know, she comes on all the time, yeah. mm. and they were doing this very funny spot about reading out her diary from when they were first going out. And it's really oh, per- right. it's reading out a diary, and yeah. it's really yeah. personal. And she's doing it, and he said, you know. Uh, we're, you know, she was a bit worried about this today, and she said, "Oh, we're in the kitchen." And she said, oh, "I don't know if I want to do it. I'm a little bit embarrassed." And so, Hugh said, "I turned around, around to her. I looked her in the eye, and I said, Baby, this is the house and embarrassment built.'" That's a great. That's just a great. It's all there. Oh. Everything you know, need to know about that yeah. whole world, it's it's right yeah, there. Let's yeah. play another game. Right, I got a game here, uh, and it's from my favourite new book uh, that I'm reading at the moment, which oh. is Richard Wilkins. <laughs> Uh, I'll do the, which is the Daryl Summers, which is to tilt the product yeah. forward so that it doesn't get glossy, which you'll see there. Right. Richard Wilkins, black ties, red carpets, and green rooms, right? <laughs> and the game is, I'll give you the anecdote that, right. from the book, and you have to tell me who it is that anecdote is about. Right. Yeah. So the only right. name omitted is from who, who it is. <clears throat> this is from page 131 if you're going on your copy at home. <laughs> <laughs> My friend and long-term uh, Harry Medcalf promoted all the early Someone Tours. Oh, I thought this was about Harry Medcalf and no. I said, give it away. No, my friend and long-term manager Harry Medcalf promoted all the early Someone Tours, including the amazing Tour de Force when this person dressed as Mozart and travelled around Australia with the Melbourne Symphony Orchestra. Use your name as the <laughs> buzzer. Yes. Can I do it? Yes. Can I do it? It's Elton John. Incorrect. It was oh. Wade. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're absolutely right. It was, you're right. It was Elton John. Yeah. yeah. Do you remember right. that tour? I, I, yeah, I do because I used to be. That was like the, the my first favourite musician when I was a kid. Oh, Elton John. Piano yeah. man, you're old. Yeah. Or this Mozart era that he's gone with. I, I, well, I wasn't attracted to him because of the Mozart era. Right. But I remember that happening. I remember. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Sh- yeah, like yeah, I remember him being an Australian, obviously getting married in yeah, Australia got married as, well. That time as well. So yeah. my auntie was you they used to work at that church where they got married and she on the day of that wedding she's now passed to, to the lovely renata to renata <laughs> mm-hmm. she said oh i was you know there was a wedding there and there was a young lass that was getting married and she just seemed a little bit down so i yeah. put my arm around her and said are you okay and she said yeah i think so and that mm-hmm. was elton john's wife wow i wonder what she was worried about yeah. <laughs> I don't think there was any surprise. <laughs> just going back to the photos section, I just want to go take you through this. This is some of um, Richard Wilde, if you're from New Zealand, yeah. of mm. course. Um, that's him with Kylie uh, in London, which is great. Yep. That's Richard with Whispering Jack, i.e. John, John Farnham, Farnham at, the, uh, at The Voice. And this is the thing you've got to remember about Richard Wilkins. You, you can say what you like about him, but he is a survivor. Yeah. He has been around forever, and yep. he's survived at Channel 9, no less, right? And so then... This is my favourite photograph because you've still you got him with Eddie Maguire there at Crown having a nice time. He does play fiddle. I don't know if you know that, but he plays the fiddle quite well. And then just a photo of Nicole Kidman's ass. <laughs> oh! <laughs> is he in it? No. Oh, great. Just, wow. enough, just at the end. And, and the thing is, and the thing is, you you have to pay quite a bit of money for that shot. Yeah. Like they would have paid unless he took it. He took it. Oh. That's why. I feel and you went like that. Incorrect, Bill. Oh, 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 That's oh. taken with a camera. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so, so if you're ever around a, Richard Wilkins that would be and you hear a flash behind you, yeah. you know, a That's camera, a good sign. That That's would be going to make his book That would year. be a great shot if it's got, you know, Dickie Wilkins there, Nicole there, and then there's the, someone taking the shot of him taking a picture oh, of her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you very much. And don't forget, Channel 31's on Facebook, Twitter, and yeah, YouTube uh, comedy channel, as well as the Channel 31 app. Uh, all my tour plugs will be put up somewhere. Where and do we pick up our check for this? Yeah. Yep. Thank you for coming. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs>